Hi, I'm David Baxter. I'm Kasha Thompson. And welcome to Kaviris This Week. And this week we're at the Concord Museum in the old historic courthouse. Great exhibit on World War I. Kasha's going to tell you all about that. All kinds of great information on today's show. So if you miss any of the contact information, all you got to do is go to cabarriscounty.us slash on CTW. It's right there. Cabarrus This Week examines history at the Concord Museum for the newest exhibition, Over There and Back Home, Cabarrus County and the War to End All Wars. This exhibition travels back 100 years to 1918 to learn about the impact of World War I on soldiers and the people left behind in Cabarrus County. World War I was known by many names, the First World War, the Great War, and the War to End All Wars. The Great War began in Europe in 1914 and escalated on a global scale, with battles fought in Europe, Africa, and Asia. An estimated 70 million military personnel were involved in the war, and more than 9 million soldiers and 7 million civilians lost their lives, making World War I one of the deadliest conflicts in history. Cabarrus County provided more than 1,000 men and women to serve in the Great War. This exhibition tells their story and the story of the families they left behind at home to protect the home front a hundred years ago. Visitors can come face to face with President Woodrow Wilson, see familiar faces in historic photographs, and look at authentic World War I uniforms worn by Cabarrus men during their service overseas. The museum is free and open to the public Tuesdays through Fridays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. and is located inside the historic Cabarrus County Courthouse. 65 Union Street South in Concord. For more information on Over There and Back Home, Cabarrus County and the War to End All Wars exhibition running through May at the Concord Museum, visit historiccabarrus.com or call 704-920-2465. I mean, that's great photos here. I mean, so if you're into history at all and World War I, is, it's pretty amazing. Now, the largest senior wellness event in the area it's going to return on March 14th, 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at Cabrera Serena and Event Center. This free day is filled with informative educational sessions, interactive vendor displays, and various health screenings. So catch that wellness wave, as you were always saying. Here we go. <laughs> and go to the Senior Health and Wellness Expo. Be the first step to your healthy lifestyle change and a resource for you to come. Now come on to the fun. Stay for your health. Have a good time. And we'll be there to say hey. <laughs> so for more information on Senior Health and Wellness Expo, March 14th at 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., Cabarrus Arena and Event Center, visit cabarruscounty.us slash seniors or call 704-920-3484. Who says you can't visit the library to play video games? In honor of Teen Tech Week, you can play a variety of video games Wednesday, March 7th, 2 to 7 p.m. at the Harrisburg branch of the library. From old school Atari to new school Xbox, gamers can play to get the high score of the day. For more information on video games, invade the library March 7th, 2 to 7 p.m. Harrisburg branch of the library. Visit CabarrusCounty.us slash OnCTW or call 704-920-2080. Okay now, hey homeschoolers, the parks have a special series just for you. You can join park rangers to explore an exciting nature topic each month. That's pretty cool. Now the next homeschool session is Tuesday, March the 20th, 11 a.m. to noon, Camp Spencer Park. You get to explore all kinds of cool stuff and you'll learn all about the prairies. We have one here in Cabarrus County, but people didn't know that. Now, the class is only $2, and you must register before March 19th. For more information on the Homeschool Park class, March 20th, 11 a.m. to noon, Camp Spencer Park, visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. There may be a pot of gold hidden at Frank Lisk Park. Grab a partner and sign up for the Luck of the Irish Disc Golf Tournament, Friday, March 16th, 6 to 9 p.m. at Frank Lisk Park. This doubles Captain's Choice <laughs> doubles Captain Choice tourney is $20. You can register in advance at cabarruscounty.us slash register or the day of the tournament. For more information or to register for the Luck of the Irish Disc Golf Tournament, March 16th, 6 to 9 p.m. at Frank Lisk Park, Visit CabarrusCounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Now, cultivate your tween's creative writing interest during a writing workshop on Monday, March the 5th, 2 p.m., Kannapolis Branch of the Library. Now, this tween-targeted workshop discusses ways to spark creative writing 
teach techniques to climb over that writer's block, which we all run into every now and then. All the time. <laughs> so for more information on the writing workshop, March 5th, 2 p.m., Kannapolis Branch of the Library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-1180. The statewide primary is May 8th and early voting begins on April 19th. There are several local positions on the ballot. Local decisions often have the most impact on our day-to-day -day lives. On the Board of Elections website, cabarruscounty.us slash elections, you can elect to be informed. Technology lets you pull up your personalized voting information, including a sample of your actual ballot and your polling location. Research campaign finance reports and election night visit the site for election results. For a complete primary schedule that includes absentee deadlines and one-stop voting dates, Visit cabarruscounty.us slash elections or call 704-920-2860. Now what began as a religious feast day during the 17th century, St. Patrick's Day has kind of evolved into a variety of festivals around the globe celebrating Irish culture. Now you can wear green. There you go, I'm ahead of time. Okay, <laughs> celebrate with Cabarrus County Senior Center in Mount Pleasant, Friday, March 16th, 10.30 a.m. You can enjoy light refreshments with your friends. So for more information on the St. Patrick's Days, okay, St. Patrick's Day, there we go. <laughs> I had to pay that in. March 16th at 1030 a.m. at Cabarrus County Senior Center, Mount Pleasant, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-3484. Run K-Town, run! Racers get ready because the first Run Kannapolis 2018 event is coming to downtown Kannapolis. Spring It On 5K takes place March 17th at 8 a.m. This first run is a part of an eight 5K walk run series that takes place in 2018. All ages and abilities can participate. Runners and walkers who complete at least five events receive series awards, and those who finish all eight events receive special recognition. For more information about Run Kannapolis, Spring It On 5K, March 17th, 8 a.m in downtown Kannapolis. Visit runkannapolis.com or call 704-920-4300. Yeah, if you do all those events, you should get recognition. <laughs> okay, have you ever fallen in love with one of the banners adorning Union Street in downtown Concord? Well, you could hang that original artwork, local students and professional artists above your own couch. Mm -hmm. There you go, have it every day. Now, Concord on Canvas live auction gives you the chance to own these pieces on Friday, March the 9th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the bridge entrance right beyond the depot at Gibson Mill. Tickets to the event are $35 and include refreshments. So for more information on Concord on Canvas Auction, March 9th, 7 to 9 p.m. depot at Gibson Mill, visit concorddowntown.com or call 704-784-4208. March roars in like a lion at Concord Library during Meteorology Mania, Friday, March 16th, 4.30 p.m. Kids ages 7 to 12 learn about wind and rain during this weather workshop. Al Roker wannabes will also make wind vanes and experiment with creating mini tornadoes and hurricanes. For more information on Meteorology Mania, March 16th, 4.30 p.m. at the Concord branch of the library, visit cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW or call 704-920-2050. You're making your own tornado, I mean, that's awesome. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Now, what does kudzu, ivy, and Japanese honeysuckle all have in common? Well, they're not native plants, and they wreak havoc in our parks. Mm -hmm. So bring the family out for a day of community service and volunteerism as Cabco Active Living in Parks removes non-native invasive species at Frank Liss Park on Saturday, March 17th, 10 a.m. to noon. Now, the removal helps empower the native plants to flourish, so that's really good. So, for more information or to register for Volunteer Day, March 17th, 10 a.m. to noon, Franklis Park, just visit cabarruscounty.us slash register or call 704-920-3484. Don't wait to register. The 2018 Cabarrus County Senior Games registration is officially open. The competitions begin April 2nd. Register before March 14th, 5 p.m. for a $5 savings. Final entry deadline is March 22nd. You can compete in a variety of sporting events, art exhibitions, and fun socials. For a full listing of events and competition dates, visit cabarruscounty.us slash seniors. Scroll on down and click on the Senior Games icon. For more information on the 2018 Cabarrus County Senior Games, April 2nd through June 2nd, call 704-920-3484.
Now, all the Cabarrus County parks have extended spring hours. I, yeah, I know. I'm excited. I had to explain to the little one why the park was closed the other day oh. and it was daytime. I was not she celebrated was not happy, that right? day. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet. Now, Camp Spencer, Frank List, Rob Wallace, and Vietnam Veterans Park extended hours are Sunday, Saturday, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday through Saturday. Oh, Sunday through Saturday. That's what the little dash did stuff. Okay, now, now these new hours are valid from March through October. Take advantage of the warming weather and visit one of the parks this spring. I guess we could say seven days a week. That would, that, that would work too. Okay, now whether you need wide open spaces to host a family outing or just kind of a, na a nature timeout for yourself, Cabarrus County Parks can help you find your fit. So for more information on Cabarrus County Active Living and Parks, visit cabarruscounty.us slash ALP or call 704-920-3484. I know I have a lot of information on today's show. If you missed any of the contact info, just go to cabarruscounty.us slash on CTW. It's right there. And we want you to sign up for our newsletter. It's so easy. Again, go to cabarruscounty.us, type newsletter in the search box, or follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Cabarrus County. And if you have family and friends don't have Spectrum Cable, can't watch us on Channel 22, you just want to watch us when you get a chance, either live stream or on demand, just go to cabarruscounty.us slash cabcotv, and it's right there, and you can just click on whatever you'd like to watch. And I tell you, I, I, this was a really exciting exhibit for me, because I love old photographs, especially 100 years ago. And it's, it's really interesting to find out and see photos of people from Cabarrus County who served our, served our country. And I tell you, it's uh, something you need to check out for sure. Now, until next time, you have a great one. Take care.